A super special shout out to all my amazing members and patrons for going above and beyond in supporting the channel. If you want to join them, consider becoming a patron. The link as well as the associated perks are in the description down below. Hey everyone and welcome back to Darkness Fools Mod. So yeah, I just quickly bought some resources from the trade over here. We have some coin left. I'm just going to put that on my drone. And then also I'm keeping my quail rifle and also the titanium auger that we had, uh, that we found the other day. I'm keeping that on my drone over here. That actually needs to be made into some blocks. As you can see, we have some cobble blocks and stuff over here. And then this over here needs to be made into some more gas. Okay, it's been a while since I've been on the save, so I don't exactly remember where I was. I did go just before now, uh, before I started just now, and I arranged a ton of vehicles during nighttime. Uh, the bus over here, the bus at the back, a ton of the vehicles over there by the trader. There's even a parking lot by the trader that I arranged. But it was getting dangerous because there were way too many zombies and my food was low, and I didn't want a chance dying just because I wanted to get fuel. So my goal actually is to make it to the desert over here and go mining. Um, I do also want to get the mechanic class because I know that you can get the oil pump. I have been told that the oil pump is very slow, but if you have enough of them and you have all these trees over here, it's a nice source of passive gas. Um, but yeah, I'm waiting for a wandering horde. I haven't had one in like 9 to 10 hours in game already. So I'm kind of terrified right now. But basically, I'm just waiting for this uh, horde to come and then the moment it's here, I'm either going to face it or run away. I'm actually considering running away. Incoming enemies, prepare for contact. Not fail. I'm considering running away right now because I want to go to the desert biome. If I take too long to kill the horde, we won't be able to visit the biome because it's going to be too late by then. It takes sometimes like one in-game hour to four, five in-game hours to kill all the demons. So if I waste my time on that, we won't be able to make it to the desert. Yeah, I'm just waiting for the... <laughs> to wait for a horde. I wonder if I shouldn't go visit the traders quickly and see if they have some fuel. I'm going to visit Joel over there. I'm going to visit Anna over there and Jen. And then hopefully the horde spawns so we can just go straight over and we're going to go straight towards the desert over there. Technically, I wanted to wait until we had the mechanic class mastered because um, I want to make some turrets and drones and stuff. I mean, actually, actually be able to make some turrets now, right? Turrets. Uh, yeah, we can make the turret. It's going to be level 41. I wonder if I shouldn't try and making one. Did we find one ever? Can't remember. No, it doesn't seem like we found one. See, I want this one to be able to stand guard as we mine. I'm just quickly going to jump in there, use up the 600 and something gas on my uh, auger, and then that should be it. Uh, but I don't want to have any, like, heavy-duty zombies following me into the hole, and then I die get it, uh, gathering resources. So, yeah, let's just put this away. That was actually a very nice hole just now. Damn. Probably also just drop some of this. Boom. I'm preparing every now and then for in case I die. <laughs> I don't want to lose everything again. Even these explosives we had, I have no need to have this many on me. There's no need at all. Okay, but yeah, um, I'm keeping this in here for in case we use this. I just reached level 60 during Horde Night thanks to all of the looting and uh, wrenching and stuff. So that gave me two points. We had five, now we have seven. So I can either make three notes, three generic skill notes, and I'll be able to go and then put 10 points into Mechanic Mastery. Or I can save these notes and use them to unlock the last two classes. I think it's only, yeah, Farmer and Laborer. Yeah, only those two left. Damn. See if I can unlock farm over here. We can get off my getting uh get off my land for the shotgun. We can go for living off the land. We can go for sous chef. We can start planting own uh, plants because we do desperately need some tomatoes. But at the same time, if I get to the generic notes and I can get to the mechanic mastery, mechanic mastery, we'll be able to make ourselves one vehicles like the buggy and Humvee and stallion and stuff. So there's way more space on them. And then also that oil pump. Like I said, it is kind of slow apparently, but I don't mind it being slow because there's so many trees around us. We can just go chop down some trees, put that in there, and then while we're out and about wrenching and having fun and trying to survive, the pumps can actually give us some gas. Basically, those oil pumps turn wood into oil shale, and then we can use the, this over here to turn the oil shale into fuel. It sounds like a plan, right? <laughs> okay, so um, I have everything on me that I need. I need a scope for this gun. Unfortunately, I can't craft the scope right now because we need more blue notes. So if I can buy some from the trader, look, we're 11 points away from being able to get to the next class anyways. So I think I will be keeping these over here, but I need more ink, which means I need tomatoes and stuff like that as well. So I think let us go down to Joel. On the one hand, I want to be on foot, but if I die from a dumb mistake, that's going to be stupid. I'll drive around. I'll see if I can I can find some tomatoes and stuff. We've passed so many tomatoes in the past. 
So as long as I just stop for everything single tomato, pick that up, uh, we can wait while this over here grows, we'll be able to get some ink. Yeah, we'll be able to buy from Anna, we'll be able to buy from Jen and Joel. That treasure map's in the wasteland, so let us go. I'm so worried about the Wandering Horde. It really bothers me that we haven't had the Horde yet. See, we now have 40% fuel, which is better than 15. Basically, I wrenched all the extra vehicles over here. There were two more on this side. And then down the road over here. Right there, that parking lot has some vehicles as well. But the zombies were starting to overwhelm me. I wanted to get these vehicles as well, but my food and stamina was getting way too low. Okay, I should probably be driving on top of over here. Because if I drive over here and we can come across plants, we can just quickly jump off and grab them. So, although it's so dark over here, we can't really see much. I just realized I was so focused on talking about what to do next that I forgot to make that uh, turret. Let's just hope that when we go to the desert biome, we can find a spot with no zombies and we can just dig down. Okay, now to look for some tomatoes. I actually purposefully took the longer route because I, know, I knew that we will be looking for some plants. And also, the only reason I'm still carrying around my fire axe is for these trees. We need the apples to be able to make some animal feed for the chicken coops. That way, at least we can get the, all the chickens or all the eggs and stuff that we need without having to worry about going for those as well. We're stopping already just for this is very tedious and very dangerous. Now, stopping for every single little bird's nest like this... Oh, at least there's an egg in there. Sometimes, yeah, it's just super rare to find eggs. And other times, all of a sudden, as I'm talking about how rare it is, all of a sudden, I keep getting more. See, the nice thing about an open field like this is you can see the zombies from all angles. It actually bothers me a lot that we haven't seen a single Wandering Horde yet. Like, why? We've, we were having them all the time, and now all of a sudden... This is terrifying. I think it's going for the 12-hour thing. It's supposed to be between 6 and 12 hours, and this is stretching it. I think at 10 is going to be 12 hours. So we just have to keep our ears open for pitter patter feet, and then as soon as we do hear that, run. I really am not in the mood to face a Wandering Horde right now. Like I said, we don't want to waste time on the Wandering Horde. We want to go to the desert for that shale. The moment we have more fuel, we'll be able to auger more. We'll be able to um, explore more. Okay, concrete mix, cement. I think we have been to the traders. But I mean, like I said, uh, at least this is uh, getting us a little bit of time before the, tra uh, the horde starts showing. Okay, that's 20 food. We don't have any cash on us. What you're looking for, we can get it. Please don't die with cash on you, Jean. I think actually also last time lost a ton of cash as well, so I'm trying to be very, very careful. I should probably also make myself a dew collector as soon as possible. Those dew collectors will definitely come in handy. Pleasure doing business with you. Okay, I'm just going to dump everything inside over there. Let's go. Next trader is Trader Jen. We can actually go through here. Yeah. Now let's go through there so we can actually get Dr. Anna first. I've got a bad feeling about this. Ooh, just because I really, really need these, I can't not take these when I see them. I just have to be careful because this place especially, there are tons and tons and tons of enemies inside over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get away, get away, get away. I should probably bring a machete with me. The machete is the easiest weapon in close range. Although, obviously, I have the spear, which is way more powerful. But, yeah, that, that, that's the thing. The machete, you have to get up close and personal in their face. Which is super dangerous. But at the same time, a power attack can bleed them out completely. The spear in Darkest Falls, also the power attack bleeds them, but I miss those shots so easily. I have a feeling that's supposed to be a really good POI as well. Okay, at 10 is going to be exactly 12 hours since we had a ward, so I need to make sure we're out of your quick. Do you have resources? Play? Yes, a lot. 
Oh, if I should. Oh, hello, please. You were looking for. I need to get out of here quickly. Oh, I don't have enough cash left. No. No, 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 no. I wanted to get the oil shale first, and then if I can. Damn, don't have enough cash. I hope you come back and see me sometime. Okay, now I can't even put the stuff back on the drone because the drone is being an asshole. <laughs> I hate the fact that a drone actually loves flying around your head like that. It makes it so much harder for us to just interact with the drone. Now, especially now that I'm in a rush because I know the Wandering Horde's supposed to come now. My heart's actually beating to get out of here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I should probably just stand on the roof of here and see if something spawns. I'll be able to see it in the vicinity of here. Ooh, there's a bee over there. And then you, drone. Let me just drop everything that I don't need. See, the oil shale is to me more important than anything else, but it's a shame I used up all my cash on, like, other stuff. Because I really, really, really needed the fuel. But I also... Oh, yep. A wandering ward coming in. Look how fast they are. Okay, so now that we can confirm the wandering horde came in, we don't have enough to go to gen right now, so let's just go straight to the desert. Whew, okay, my heart's actually beating as I was expecting that. It's not as terrifying when you uh, when you know, okay, yeah, it's there. But guys, uh, someone actually told me, why don't I put the hordes to random? But basically, it is random. Um, I can't put it lower than 60 because then I'll always just be getting hordes. That's going to be a little bit bad, just constantly facing hordes and hordes and hordes and hordes. I wanted to kill that chicken so badly just now. But yeah, so 6 is the minimum. And then I made it so the... Ooh. Apparently there's a tunnel that leads through, but it's very, very dangerous. If I can clear that tunnel out, it'll be a, a straight way for us to get through everything. But yeah, like I said, six Until hours is a minimum uh, that we have to worry about hordes. And then it can go up to 12 hours. So basically that's random because it's so many different kinds of hordes you can face. If I were to put it to like anywhere between 1 and 24 hours, then we might get like one every second hour, third hour. But if I put at least a minimum on it, we don't have to worry too much. I think I'm going to try and see if I can't find the trader over there. Because inside the trader grounds, obviously, uh, but then again, it's out here, it's way safer. I was about to say, it's going to be safer uh, digging inside the trader grounds. But at the same time, there's no zombies currently here. And the trader grounds are going to be a little bit more to the middle over there. So let's just see what I can do. Pray, uh, let's grab that. So we know now, uh, now know we had a horde at 10. Uh, wait. Isn't that supposed to give you oil shale? Are there oil shale nodes in this, uh, in Darkest Walls? I can't remember. If I'm not mistaken, you're supposed to be able to mine a stone, and it shows you what resource to get over there. And since this is this biome, there should only be oil shale, right? But that's only giving stone, which makes me think we have to go for a node. We could just uh, blindly dig, but I don't have enough fuel to just go and dig anywhere. I'll just keep looking over here. I know this might be a waste of fuel because it might just be anywhere. But I can't take a chance right now with the limited amount of fuel we have on this auger. Okay, I decided to just dig anyway. Against my better judgment. And yep. Yeah. <laughs> Because it's the desert, you can literally dig anywhere. But I want to make sure there's no cave or anything right now, because we can't afford for the zombies to fall on our heads. Okay. So, let's just quickly do this before we die. I just got 4,000 small stones and 10,035 oil shale. So, for, for the time being, we're actually good on gas. So, I wonder if I shouldn't then go for other two classes. If I could go for the two that we're lacking and use those seven points on them, since we have all this fuel right now, I think that's going to be the best case scenario, right? Also, I want to get out of here before a screamer shows up. 
Okay. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Oh, crap. I hate this. The bloody drone's in the way. Because the drone's there, I can't place a block and it's going to try and... Whoops. Yep, there you go. It pushed me away just now. Run, 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 run. Okay, now we know we can actually mine anywhere. I don't know why I went all the way around over here. Let me just quickly go find this trade in the middle of the city of here. And this massive water source over here as well. Okay, I should technically also get all of the yucca juice and like birds and stuff we come across right now, but I don't have the time. Um, perhaps bananas and stuff. I think the recipe for this is going to be like way later. But if we can get it now and we can just turn these into seeds, we can slowly but surely grow our own. So all I have to do now is focus on getting into farming a bit. More bananas. Where's the coconut? Over here. So yeah, even though... Oh yeah, I just I just wasted fuel just now, basically. Come on. Ooh. I wasted fuel by just driving around looking for oil shale, but at the same time, now we know it's anywhere in the desert. See, it's been so long since so I've actually mined for oil shale at all. Especially in Darkness Falls that I just didn't know where that was just now. But at least now I know next time we come back, we can just mine anywhere. And we'll be able to get all the oil shell we need. And that's even over here just as we come into the desert biome. I think it's going to be way safer there because almost no zombies spawned there just now. Okay, I'm going to go down this road over here and see if I can find the trader. If I didn't have fuel right now, I'd actually try going into this place of here. Oh no, that's the, uh, that's the waterworks. I remember that I thought that's a gas station. That is not. I should also probably go for all of the chickens I come across as well. Uh, but yeah, we don't have the time right now. Need the fuel right now, right now. Go for all of the workstations. The zombies are going to be able to break in of here as well, so I need to be careful. And I need to be careful. I keep forgetting in Darkness Falls. It goes to show I'm so used to like Ravenous now. In Darkness Falls, you have to worry about the tourist and Big Mama and all of them being able to vomit. But after playing Darkness Falls, when I go and play Ravenous again, then I'm terrified of them and Ravenous. Until I remember, oh yeah, I'm not playing Ravenous currently. <laughs> it's so easy because the, uh, because they're so dangerous, you just get used to, oh no, there's a that's a problem. We have to stay clear of them. I wonder if I shouldn't go clear out that tunnel to be able to get here faster uh, next time. See, we have no cash left right now, so we can't even do anything. He's even if he had some really great person. loot for me, I wouldn't be able to buy it right now. We need that for explosives. We need cobble. We have a little bit of cash, right? Yeah, my friend. Teeny tiny little bit. Every little bit of um, uh, cobble we can buy, I need to buy. Oil shale, I don't know why I bought that just now, because we just Thanks got tons and here. tons of oil Come shale. Here. Okay, so our little bit of a trip to the desert biome was lucrative. Very, very, very lucrative. Are you guys feral? Nope. Man, I love the squirrel gun. It is OP. Even if you look, look at this. Headshot. I mean, you have to get close enough to get, uh, do a headshot, but as long as you do that headshot, damn. Okay, let's just go back to our town. We have to quickly get to our base. I actually want to see if we can't do, like, mining with the auger during nighttime as well, but the problem is going to be the screamer. Because if I can go and just dig out a ton of uh, stone or something like that... Ooh, is this where the tunnel comes out? I want to be able to go and just dig out a ton of stone and then use the stone and the, the clay that I have. I think I have a little bit of clay at the base. I want to go and make way more cobble to finish our base. I want to see what's so bad in this tunnel. This might be really dumb. At least I don't have that much stuff on me, so if I die, it's fine. I think there might be vehicles blocking our way over here. Let's see. Yeah, it seems we have to... It seems it's collapsed. So we're going to have to use like an orgo or something to be able to dig through. I don't want to get stuck over there and die just because I'm curious. You know what they say, curiosity killed the cat. <laughs> and I don't want to be that cat right now. 
so far this has been a pretty chill episode i i, I really like just easing into it in a new week although that's gonna be too dangerous thank you um damn that was the only road back except for that one over there oh we need to get to caitlin again for the next quest right hmm but the only thing is we have to go all the way back there we have to take this road over here to be able to go to eve i want to unlock the next quest i don't think we have it no we don't the problem is going to be okay they're fighting each other over there let's go this hill is so steep that the animals might be able to catch us so now they're busy over there we'll just do our thing over here something just came to mind what are these it's not just the tomatoes that i need but if i can find a ton of these then that would actually negate my need for tomatoes because there is a risk now but i think it's both blueberries and tomatoes go together but basically if i can just make sure i park on the right side and do that we should be safe even if there's like an attack of some kind although i need to be careful of something like this at least if an animal attacks right now we should be safe because all i have to do is shoot with my awesome awesome gun i'm so tempted to kill this bear over here but i'm not gonna chance it right now since we are getting a hypothermia because of the cold over here i really don't want to chance jumping off my bike and running out of stamina but if i do see like uh, some plants like this i'm not gonna turn the bike around i'll definitely just jump off quickly and see if i can grab some and obviously back to the base as well if i if i pass more i'll definitely jump off of that as well If we had cash right now, I'd definitely pop by uh, Caitlyn over here. It's so awesome to me that on this map, Caitlyn is over here in the snow biome. She's usually in the wasteland, so you need like anti-rad mods and everything to be able to go and talk to her. But the fact that you don't need all that stuff and you can just quickly go pop in, say hi, and then come back, that's amazing. Basically, the wasteland's like a no-go uh, post-apocalyptic zone. Any more jobs? The favor. Here's what I have. Nice. It's back in our town. I'm actually feeling like jumping off the cliff over here again. It's super dumb, but with our uh, HP all the way up like it is, we shouldn't die. Although it's going to be the fastest way to get back to the base because we are running low on fuel. So we're going to try this again. We did this last time and my HP and stuff was really, really, really low. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. <laughs> Okay, here it goes. I'm going to pick up as much speed as possible right now. And one, two, three. Just pull back on C. Pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. Oof. Nice. Awesome. <laughs> we just saved so much time. But at the same time, that's so dumb to do on a, a, a series like mine. For those of you guys new to my series, basically if I die, I lose my backpack, my tool belt, my armor, everything on me I lose. That's why I'm also constantly tr uh, trying to drop stuff inside my drone or my motorcycle because at least those things stay. I wonder if I shouldn't just really do the favor over here. Let's attempt it. I'll put everything that I don't need on the drone. Let's do that. Since we have this gun, we should be able to do it quite easily. Find supplies. It's upstairs. So if I can cheese this place, I'm gonna...
It's on this floor. Okay. Oh, look what's over there. Hello, demo. Incoming enemies, prepare for conflict. Crap. Come on, fall down. There you go. Come on. I don't want to kill them or face them right now. This demo can definitely one-shot me. And if I shoot him right now, it's just going to cause any, uh, some more trouble for me. Oh, crap. I need to make a full block. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go. I do this, do this, crouch. Oops. Those zombies want to say hello. I just have to jump out the window, come on. I have to be careful of demons right now as well. Come on, come on, come on, come on, you can do it. The stress. I went from a pretty chill episode to attempting something really dumb. It seems my fetch is on that side over there. Whoa, did you just fall from the roof? Okay, note yourself, be careful of the roof. I'll just place something above me in case they do that again. Oh, my fetch is right there. My senses have picked up something. Oh crap. Hello. Hello, demo. The length will go through. Just to cheese the place. Okay, let's go. It didn't have to be a, a tough uh, experience for us. I mean, obviously, we could just go and clear this whole place out. Because there's bound to be some great loot. But... I don't feel like dying. Just kill this demo quickly. Okay, hello, hello, tough guy. Hello. Oh, I forgot you guys can do that. Maybe when they do that. I wonder if I shouldn't try. I wonder if I die, do I also lose the quest? I'm so tempted to clear this place because I know there's a good stash. I can't remember if it's on the left or the right or at the back. Nah. What are you thinking, Jean? Don't take dumb chances right now. I should probably just quickly really go hand this in and then accept the small bunker quest. What I'm going to have to do, though, is pick this up. Put that in over here, and I'm going to have to jump over here. The problem is, with our low stamina right now, we might not make it all the way to the top. And there's already a wolf. Hello. Uh, you know what? Oh, the stamina's going to be a problem. Nope. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm going to use up all my stamina to try and get to the top of here. It's either this, or we have to drive all the way around again. Oh, it's almost six. I wonder when the next horde's gonna be. Please don't tell me it's gonna be at six, because then we have a problem. And we made it! Yay! <laughs> okay, I didn't think we are actually gonna be able to make it up here, because the stamina is really low. Look at my stamina. Because of the hypothermia right now, I did drink and eat a few things just now, but it's not enough. This cold really, really messes with you. For those of you guys that know, don't know, in Darkness Falls, you can't just wear clothing for heat and cold like you can uh, can do usually in like vanilla and other mods. In Darkness Falls, you have to have a clothing on for cold, clothing on for heat. Like one, uh, usually uh, like one clothing piece will give you protection against both elements. But in Darkness Falls, it only gives you protection against one, and it actually gives you like a penalty, uh, a bad penalty for the other. So, for example, a puffer coat is great for the snow, but if you wear that in the desert, you're going to overheat and get, um... What's the opposite of hypothermia again? <laughs> heat stroke. You're going to get heat stroke. Ooh, I did not notice that was a landmine. That could have been bad just now. Okay, it's almost seven. I think then it's going to be the next uh, Wandering Horde, so I want to hand this in quickly and just get her next quest. Her next quest is going to be the small bunker. And before we can even attempt that, I have to make sure that we're able to go and make ourselves some turrets. Turrets with like a ton of uh, dart trap ammo. 
That's the best thing in Darkness Falls. The fact that the junk turrets can actually fire dart trap ammo. It makes them so much more powerful. Here's what I have. Oh, <gasps> yes. And yes. Oh. Oh, yeah, because I have the Mythic Xenos glasses on. Guys, I'm going to be so sad if I die. These glasses are the rarest glasses in the game. I almost forgot about this. Bonus quest rewards, 25%. So we can accept three rewards. I need to quest more now. We can accept three rewards thanks to these gl uh, glasses. I completely forgot about that. Okay, uh, technically I don't have to mark that because we're going to go there anyways. So we're going to do that again. Yay, let's go jump. <laughs> I have to be careful of all the landmines over here. At least my motorcycle was full speed when I hit the first one. But I might not be that lucky again. Awesome, but yeah, guys, I forgot, I completely, completely forgot that we found those Mythic Xenus glasses like last time. I don't know if it's an episode or two ago, but yeah, these things, with three rewards, doing scout quests right now would be way more worth it. I'm just hoping soon we'll be able to find some quail weapons as well. Master, we are so not far, alive. the scout has been stingy with all of the, re uh, the rewards for her quests. There are so many zombie traders on the map, you have to be careful in this one. Darkness Falls, Super City map. Also, yeah, guys, if, uh, th there's zombies in that, uh, this over here, but underneath over there, there's a mine with a lot of resources. Um, I'd actually recommend that you have a turrets and a ton of coil weapons and stuff if you go inside over there. I'm just going to test this quickly. Pressing S. Okay, that looks like it's actually pulling back a bit more. Nice. Ooh, my HP took a little bit more of a hit that time. But yeah, basically, if you go into that POI, there's an amazing loot down there, but be careful. That mine usually has, like, behemoths and stuff in, depending on your game stage, of course. For me, I'm guessing there's going to be, like, empowered demons and stuff down there. I actually want to wonder, how many tomatoes do we have right now? And still, turn around. Let's see, tomatoes, tomatoes. Only 12. Damn, after all of that. I haven't all, well, since we've been in other biomes, I haven't even been paying attention to, like, uh, apple trees and stuff. Well, then again, if we uh, unlock the other two classes now, because, like I said, I want to go for mechanic. But if we, I, I think we should just probably go for the other two classes, because then I can make my own plants. If I can make tomorrow seeds, which is probably living off the land somewhere. But we do have seven points to spend, so that's fine. If I can make tomorrow seeds and plant those, just remove all the others and just make tomorrow seeds and uh, blueberry seeds. Then we'll be able to make a massive farm for just ink. And then obviously as soon as we have all the classes unlocked, I have to make myself a way bigger farm as well. Oh wow. We have so much oil shale, we don't have enough fuel to be able to- Oh, almost. 75 minutes. Um, I should make sure we have enough of this over here. Hopefully this machine doesn't get destroyed. I should probably just not be uh, jinxing myself like that. I'm hoping the Wandering Horde doesn't show right now. Because I want to just at least put all this stuff away. And then also over here, I want to make more cobble. Next time we can actually go and start... Oh, crap, the Wandering Horde's here. Next time we can face the Wandering Horde. But since I'm going to be logging out now anyways, because it's night time over here. Um, yeah, I'm going to be doing the next episode tomorrow. I'm starting recording tomorrow. But yeah, I just need to put all of this stuff away. And then we have to go and just do as much as possible. This was now 9 o'clock. But if I refresh it, if I log out and in, it might be a different time. Damn, if it wasn't the end of the episode right now, I'd actually face them right now. But yeah, if you guys like this episode, please like and share with your friends. Comments, tips, and feedback, leave that down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more Darkness Falls Insanity. Members and patrons get shoutouts in all of my videos, gain access to a private members-only Discord channel, and as a thank you for supporting the channel, get access to my Seminace that I server. If interested, check out the links in the description down below.